after removing your restoration, what we want to do is make sure we take the button down with a, a semi coarse rubber wheel. We're just going to go in a round circular motion. Okay, so once that's done, we want to be able to go over the whole surface of the Sarasmart restoration with this rubber wheel. What that's going to do is remove any kind of burr marks that are left behind. But again, don't press uh, hard on this step. You want to make sure you're just gently going in a circular motion to not take any margins away or not um, take away your occlusal anatomy. Okay, so now what we want to do is take the Serasmart restoration, lightly sandblast it with 25 to 50 microns of luminous oxide, stay, staying away from the margins, going over the surface, and also the intaglio. And at this point, we take this restoration and we're going to put it in the ultrasonic cleaner or steam clean it to make sure we get any of the residue off. After the restoration is cleaned, we're going to take it out of the ultrasonic cleaner and we're going to rinse off any residual liquid that might be on there. And now we're going to be ready for the optoglaze. The next step is to take the ceramic primer too and we want to add a little bit into our well here. Now these uh, little palettes come in the OptiGlaze color kit. We could take our brush, which also comes in the OptiGlaze color kit, and we apply the ceramic primer too all over the surface of the restoration. Just a very nice thin layer. And what this does again is this uh, creates a bond between the OptiGlaze color and the Sarasmart. You can, however, um, use just the OptiGlaze color, but um, one recommended step would be to use this so you have better adhesion. Okay, so when that's done, we could just go ahead and let that air dry, or you can uh, use a air hose to manually dry it. As you see, there are many different shades and colors in the OptiGlaze color kit. Um, so the, these are meant to be able to achieve subtle and different types of effects. Um, this kit is designed to be used for a process that is as simple as adding one color for warmth, uh, maybe some occlusal stain, to going all the way to full characterization, adding different if effects and adding different types of uh, decalcification and craze lines. And so there's many different uh, different types of applications you can use to achieve the aesthetics that you're the desired aesthetics that you're looking for. So for today's demonstration what we're going to do is we're going to start off using a little bit of the OptiGlaze color shade A+. And since this is a A2 uh, Sarasmart restoration, all we want to do is add some gingival warmth. And we're going to add uh, the A+ around the gingival in the margin. And we want to make sure that we shake the bottle and you hear that ball inside to make sure we get a good consistency. We could put a little bit of that A shade. A little bit goes a long way. So we put a little of that A shade in the well. And we just start gently going around the margin just to add a little warmth. And again, like I said, a little bit goes a long way. You want to make sure you kind of smooth the, the color and blend it in so you don't have any extreme lines going on with the color. So that's all the warmth that I want right now. I'll maybe put a little bit more here on the buckle. And we just we're looking for subtlety here. And then we take the light 405. Okay, the light is actually the light 405 is actually ideal wavelength to cure optoglaze color. I want to make sure we go over the entire surface where we added that the shade A. Now for the final cure, we're going to do 40 seconds using the light. 
But first what we're doing is we're layering our shade foundation and as we layer each shade for the effect that we want, we then um, are going to light cure each increment. So some may say that this is enough at this point. That's all they may want. But we're going to go now to try and show some uh, stain within the pits and fissures to get that illusion of depth. Maybe not too much. We're going to add red brown for this specific crown. Again, we shake the, the bottle. Again, put some of this in our well. Again, this is very intense, so a little goes a long way. So we're going to take something like an expl explorer and just lay a gentle amount. And then anything that kind of globs over or puddles, later on you can take your brush and you can kind of feather that color out and dilute it so it doesn't so it's not so heavy. So it's pretty easy to manipulate in this stage. We don't want to put a whole lot of stain in this one. If you needed to, you could. But again, something very simple and light like that, just enough to add that depth and give some characterization. Feather out any kind of puddling. So at this point, this again may be enough for some uh, characterization effects. So we're going to take our the light from GC America and light cure that into place. It should only be a few seconds because all we're doing is tack curing at this point. Okay, so now if we really wanted to, we could take the blues and the grays and we'll just go ahead and shake these two up. Now this is something that will give you the effect of translucency towards the uh, incisal. The only issue is that if you use too much it is very intense. So this is something you want to gently apply and remove any kind of puddling. So what we can do is if we need we could put a little bit of the gray maybe on the mesial here with the mesial marginal ridge. See, and this automatically gives you that translucent effect. But again, you put too much, it's going to look too intense. So you can see right away how that kind of gives you that, that gives you that effect of translucency there. Maybe we could do a little bit on the distal as well. very gently. And then we're going to go and light cure that into place for a few seconds. So after we're done applying the grays, <clears throat> and I applied a little bit here on each uh, mesial and distal marginal ridge, if we want to we can then take the blue color and basically Again, very gently, otherwise it gets way too intense. Just maybe add some kind of enamel effects to the cusps. Once we finish that, we're going to go ahead and like here again for a few seconds. This is a simplified type of application of optoglaze color. Again, we probably did more than uh, typically would be done. Uh, in most cases, maybe we'll, we would add a little bit of the A around the margin, maybe a little bit of uh, the red-brown in the pit and fissures. It, it's optional. You can go as far as you want. You can be as creative as you want with this material. So this is just kind of an overview of how this is uh, applied and the, some of the basic steps you can do to make these Sarasmart restorations look really pretty. Um, so the next step I'd like to do is apply OptiGlaze Color White 
go ahead and mix this up. Now this, again, these are pretty intense colors. So the point of using the white in this case is just to add a little bit of height to these ridges, these uh, cusp tips. Now they're very intense, so you can always brush it away if you need to. And blend. What this really does is kind of give you that real dimension and that depth. And if it is too bright, you can always wipe it away. You can really see how it starts to pop. When that's done, we'll go ahead and light cure it for about five seconds. For the last step, we're pretty much done with our characterization. You can see that there's some depth there, there's some height, very subtle. But you can definitely see there, there's a lot more there than there was when it f was first milled out. Okay, so now we want to put the gloss on. We want to put that polish on. Okay, so the way we're going to do that is just by covering it with the OptiGlaze Clear. Put a little bit of that in a dish. We're just going to cover the whole restoration with that. And that'll give it that real nice glaze. And you see by light curing the colors in place, now they're not running all over the place because they're set. And tack cured. Some on the occlusal. Okay, it's done and ready to light cure. So at this point, you can either put it in your light box if you have one, or if not, you could take your light, in this case the light from GC, and go ahead and light cure that for 40 seconds. Remembering to turn and rotate the restoration to make sure all the sides are equally cured.